Hey y'all, what's up? In today's video, we are finally going to um, talk about how to set up the embroidery action into the um, into Photoshop so that you're able to use it. Um, I will have the link of where I got these two um, files from, uh, basically in Bado Market. There's plenty of actions you guys can purchase to um, to make this happen. I encourage you guys to just try out different actions. Some people have better actions than others. Um, I literally have a million and some of them are not that good while others are great. Um, these are the two that I have narrowed down to give you the look and there are more expensive ones but of course um, you know trying it out with the simple one and then working your way would be best. So um, first things first you're going to need Photoshop and you're going to go to windows first of all you're going to go to Envato Market click the link below to download either of the two uh, I would get both because you're getting two different um, two different embroidery things so I would get them both one is like a fuzzy bear while the other one is more of the stitching uh, you're going to download right click and extract the file once the file is extracted you're going to go into Photoshop on the top left windows and click action since I already have my actions here, we're just going to go through the notions. Let me delete it really quickly. I'm going to delete this real fast so that you guys can see. Uh, okay. So you're in actions. You've hit windows, actions. Right here in the top right in the actions panel, this three button or this three line menu you're going to go to load action and you want to load your ATN file I'm gonna load them both on here these are two different actions um, so I'm gonna load both of them Perfect. Now that we have loaded that, we're going to go over here to the left panel and choose our brush. Wherever in the world it might be. Brush tool. Then up here at the top, we're going to click on this down arrow click on this little setting wheel and import brushes and here you will load the ABR file once that is loaded you will then go to the bucket the fill tool click on it change it from foreground to pattern over next to it, click on the down arrow and click on the settings wheel. Import pattern. Here you will import the PAT file, pattern file. And that's all to it. You will do that for any and all actions that you have. ATN files are actions. Uh, PAT files are patterns and then the brush file let me see what it is called really quickly uh, they are ABR files okay once you have loaded everything now you'll want to open up your image we're gonna just choose 
This one's a little tricky, but forget it. We're going to choose this guy. Once you have chosen it, you want to make sure that your image is um, as minimum DPI as possible. You'll want to come over here to the CC version and hit embroidery logo thin or large, whichever you prefer. When you hit, I'm going to go with thin, you want to hit play. Hit OK. I leave it at 9.5. And it's going to start to do its thing. Here on the side panel, let me lower this so you guys can see. It has done its thing. If you want to remove the background, here it is. You can remove it or change the color. Now, here's where you're going to enter your details. You're going to click on the embroidery original file. As you see, these are all different stitches and you can change the color to that. I'll show you that in a little bit. But go to the original embroidery file, click add detail and hit play. It's gonna come up a pop-up message. You want to select the magic wand and the area that you want to emboss. So here we're gonna hit stop, select the wand, tolerance at 50 and contiguous unchecked then you're going to click on the color that you want we're going to start off with the blue and hit play then you go back to the embroidery logo again and we will repeat the process we will choose the purple and hit play Then we will choose the yellow, that was pink, we'll go with the pink, well, go back, you got to remember, if you don't go back and choose the main file, it's going to take it out of these ones, which this is the blue, this is the pink, you'll have to do this with every color manually. Again, there are other presets that you can use um, that may not require you to do that but this one does. And here you will start the process of doing every single color. The more colors, the more difficult, or you can leave it how, how it was. Um, I like to actually do all the colors. And it gives it that 3D look. If you realize it's giving it the pop out look so this is why I always want to to do it now you have to remember to come back to the original file and click on the colors because if not then um, you're gonna have a hard time okay once you have done every color and you're happy with what it looks like um, make sure I got everything let's do this color perfect and boom okay so once you have every color you can hit control alt e to merge everything together if you wanted to change the stitching color you will click on it and this menu will pop up here you'll have color and you can change to whatever color you want I like to leave it um, you know it's normal color but you're more than welcome to change it to whatever you'd like whatever color whatever style you pick and choose um, you again you would have to click stitch one stitch two and then you can choose your glow, your shadow, whatever you decide. Once you're done with this, you will hit File, Export, Export As. And we're just going to export as a PNG, transparent, and no other... Uh,
Yeah, unity. Alright. Name it what you want. And let's take a look. Alright, and there you have it. The embroidery look. This is the simplest method. There is other, like I said, other actions that will take quite a long time to do. But this is the fastest, the cheapest action you can find. I want to say it's like 12 or 13 bucks. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. And you'll do every color. If you notice, I didn't do the green, but that's cool. Um, and you can do any PNG. I did not create this PNG. I just uploaded it and that's it. Um, if you wanted a bigger border, then you can double up on that. Um, and that's it. I'm going to cut the video here on this one because we're going to go over the other one. Um, so that way it's not to be confused. All right, guys. Uh, I would like to see y'all's projects when y'all um, get this going. I can't tell you how many times people thought it was really embroidered. Um, share this video, man, because it's something that we can add to our, our um, arsenal of things that makes us stand out from the rest, guys. And many people ask for embroidery. Um, they just love the look, not necessarily for anything other than what embroidery looks like as most businesses are used to embroidery and this is a way of offering the look without having the machine guys all right thanks for watching stay tuned because there's i'm gonna go over all of the actions that i can find so you guys can make your most conscious decision to um, choose whichever action you like remember I went through like 60 of them and some of them are 20 bucks some of them are 16 bucks some of them are 32 bucks so yeah I've been through a lot of them nonetheless thank you guys for watching and I hope every one of you hits the ground running with this if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me um, I am not affiliated with any of these actions whatsoever it's just the easiest one I found um, and that's it. Thanks for watching.